first, add 250 milliliters of cream to a pan. Then pour in 50 mils of milk and add 50 grams of caster sugar. Get the sugar in early because it stops the milk and cream from boiling over. Give that a little stir. Bring that up to the ball. Panna cotta, which means cooked cream in Italian, can be flavored with anything from vanilla to coffee to chocolate. I'm giving mine a grown-up kick with a splash of rum. In. Once the cream has come to the boil, take it off the heat and add a couple of leaves of gelatine that have been soaked in cold water and squeezed dry. Then whisk them in. And the gelatine sets the cooked cream. So we want that really nice sort of blancmange texture. Rich, silky, and incredibly smooth. Once the gelatine has dissolved, pour the panna cotta straight into serving glasses. Traditionally, it's set in molds, then turned out onto a plate, but I'm keeping mine simple. Leave a little space on top for the glaze. Now, set them into the fridge. Beautiful. Next, the pomegranate glaze. Add some caster sugar to the pan and pour in pomegranate juice. Then simply bring it to the boil and reduce it down to the consistency of a sticky syrup. In Iran, where pomegranates originated, they use this sweet, sticky syrup to flavor chicken and game birds. A beautiful, rich, sticky glaze. Pour that into a jar. Leave that to cool down. Take the panna cotta from the fridge. They set beautifully. And they're not too firm, just slightly bouncy, a little bit springy on top. Carefully pour the cool pomegranate glaze over. Just roll them around a little bit, just to fill those edges. Finally, take a bar of chocolate that's been chilled in the freezer so it's easier to use and scrape off thin shards. Almost like sort of chocolate gold leaf and sprinkle it on top. Mergays are traditional North African sausages made from beef or lamb. And all we're going to do now is take the sausage and lay that in the middle. They're flavoured with harissa, a fiery chilli paste which gives them their heat and distinctive colour. And now you can see the nuts absorbing all that wonderful flavour. Absolutely delicious. Finally, put in a sprig of rosemary. 